to my first tutorial so my name is Carol and this is the dress Teuta Matoshi right so this dress has four layers here the tool with the stars it has the same kind of tool without the stars um, kind of a little bit more rough um, tool or mesh it stands up a little bit just to give you a little bit more volume and has this the lining okay I also use like boning in this dress and uh, you can also use like one of those under the bust and I really advise you to do so because mine it's a little bit going like in front and I don't like that but this one is too small so I order online so when it comes I will do by hand because you need to have this channeling to sew into the lining and then you look more firm so this is the dress and let's start I hope you understand everything I'm gonna say and uh, thank you so much again for passing by okay first uh, you need to have um, the pattern for the bodice in my case I got the rose cafe bustier uh, pattern from Etsy I just came across um, with this pattern on Google so I have no uh, intention to make you buy this pattern but you can of course if you have a dress form you can make it the pattern yourself it's also a ton of videos on YouTube teaching you how to make the pattern uh, also to fit your own uh, shape your body so just go ahead and uh, get the pattern first try the pattern a couple of times because to be honest this pattern it uh, has some tricks to fit nice in the bust area and this dress also has the invisible zipper so it has to be a very like uh, well fit in the back now we're gonna talk about the materials I'm gonna use to, dig uh, to make this dress uh, I got like the stars tool and I got the tool for the stars and I'm also going to work with like this mesh it's a mesh uh, a little bit more rough just to give a little bit more volume to my skirt I'm also going to use like a lining or fabric to use in the back of the tool I chose like 100% cotton fabric I'm also going to use a fusible with glue and also um, I'm going to use a boning on this dress it's a bone it can be so true and also you're going to need like an invisible zipper of course the same color as the fabric okay now we are going to cut the fabric the star one so what I did here's the brain line so I fold it, I try to fold like very nice one, two and three times in three parts and then it's going to be less to cut here. So what you're gonna need is to find out how long is going to be your skirt, okay? So in my case, if you want short around here, if you want like T length around here in my case so it's going to be 67 for me so 67 here and then I'll cut it out here So now uh, we have the skirt uh, piece ready. This fabric you're going to cut is the tool without the stars. 
the mesh and the lining in my case the cotton one so just remember to iron your fabric if it need like mine pretty much need it so those three fabrics I'm gonna cut it uh, like a circle skirt okay so pretend this is your fabric is this selvage and then you're gonna fold together and then you're gonna fold one more time and then you're gonna have like one two three four right so what you're gonna do you need to find out your waist my case my waist is 67 you're gonna divide this by 6.28 in my case I came with 1066 but I'm gonna add plus 4 centimeter for seam allowance but I will go for 15 I know that it's 14.66 but I'm going to go for 15 centimeter okay so that means from here to the corner to your fabric to here it's 15 from here to here it's 15 and you're going to connect like this uh, you can now have now you have to find out from here the length of your those three fabrics also I want them to be a little bit shorter than my star fabric so I think 65 for me is gonna be fine so here to here 65 so here 65 so you don't you have to do like this here 65 and then you're gonna cut like this you're gonna cut here also so I just cut off the um, lining so this is how it looks like I'm just gonna cut now the mesh so you can just put over like this and copy the same um, pattern so now we have like cut off the mesh the tool and the lining for the skirt so they look a little bit like this a continue around piece all those three right okay what i did is i cut the pieces in a small scale just for you to understand what i'm gonna do here but at this point you have the lining okay and you have two pieces of mesh or tool so it's up to you what you want to have under the mesh with the stars if you want one if you want two so this is up to you so but in my case we're gonna work first with the um, lining okay you're gonna find out what's the right, uh, wrong side of the lining. So in my case, this is the wrong side of the lining. So, and then you're gonna mark from the waistline 11 centimeter. So pretend this is 11 centimeter here. And then you're gonna mark one centimeter from that mark your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter, okay? in inch probably half inch so it's my seam allowance and then you're gonna make like a triangle here like this like you're gonna pinch the fabric here you don't actually you don't need to come all the way to the um, hem okay so you're gonna take your skirt your lining skirt and you're gonna go give straight stitch like here okay and then you when you're done here I'll take another pen <laughs> you're gonna continue one centimeter from here one centimeter so you're gonna make another line here to be easier we were what we are doing here we are prepare the ba the back of the skirt for the zipper okay and this is 
you can cut off here and do like but i don't like to cut i just want to i like to keep this nice finish here so that's why i do like this maybe it's wrong but it's like the way i found out for me it looks pretty inside so it's how i do so and then here you're gonna mark one centimeter because here's gonna come the zipper and then you're going to zigzag here just this what you did very close zigzag stitch like this okay what you did here you did the straight stitch here and the zigzag stitch here right now you're gonna cut just before the zigzag stitch it's gonna look like this and you're gonna cut here in the middle maybe it's, you're gonna cut here in the middle okay and then you can use like a pen to mark where you're gonna come the straight 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 stitch <laughs> for the um, zipper when you apply the zipper you can mark the both sides this pen you can use in the fabric and then it's washable and then you're gonna iron if you want here so just to show you this is my original skirt okay this is my size skirt that i made look how pretty it looks like in the back you can almost cannot see the seaming stop here and then look Here's the seam allowance waiting for the zipper. It looks very clean and nice. Here also, the zigzag there. And then afterwards, you can fix that seam allowance with bias tape or overlock. So, and now that you finish to prepare the zip, you can make the hem of your skirt. I use uh, horse hair braid in this case, but okay. Uh, you're gonna take now the two around tools you have and put them together right and then you're gonna do basically the same what you did with the lining skirt you're gonna mark it 11 centimeter from here and then you're gonna sew one centimeter here and do like this the same thing like you did in the lining at this point the skirt is very big so it's not fit on my table so i'm gonna show you this is the actually skirt okay all layers are together all the three layers are together i saw the triangular here can you see here and then now we're gonna fold this one centimeter from both of the layers i cannot see so much <laughs> and you're gonna do like this it's gonna look like this okay now we are going to the um, sewing machine and start to give like a straight stitch like a gathering straight stitch the longest straight stitch you have in your sewing machine all way around the three layers together so just gather a little bit not that much you have to wait until your bodice is done so you know how much you have to gather so and also you can do the same with the star skirt so i did the gathering twice the gather stitch twice and i just like gather a little bit so our skirts are done now we have to start now it's time to start to make the bodice so first we're gonna take your your main fabric or your lining fabric in my case is the main fabric is gonna be the same as my lining and then we're gonna measure with your paper pattern how much fabric you need to make the front piece for the bodice then you're going to glue on the fusible with the iron so my blue fabric is together with my fusible and what i did i took my pattern and i draw on this big piece because i don't want to waste so much fabric so that's why i do like that so i go like a puzzle and now on this very small fabric i have all my bodice my front bodice ready to cut off now we have um, the bodice 
red to to go to the machine so this is the blue fabric the main fabric and then we have the um, lining i will think about to use the same fabric but i think it would be better if i use white for now so you guys can see the difference when i'm working with the line when i'm working with the main fabric and uh, just to remind you this fabric the front fabric has the fusible and then on my lining i also did the fusible only on the cup because i want to look like that have the sponge but doesn't have the sponge so just to look a little bit more around a nice shape so only my cup pieces have the um, fusible and then also i do have the fabric the stars that's going to come on top of the bodice later okay um at this point what i did here i just sew together the patterns for the bodice also i did uh, the pattern i sew together the patterns for the lining and the cup also it's sewed together so that's why I mentioned in the beginning, uh, you should have tried this pattern before, be, be familiar with the pattern. So it goes smooth at this point. So, and then you sew all the pieces together. You have your bodice very uh, nice uh, iron flat. And now we are in the same page, I hope, at this point. Uh, what I did there, I got a little bit piece of fusible and put in that corner because i'm afraid that space that fabric they will give some problems later um iron the seam allowance and uh, don't forget and also i iron uh, the bot the lining to give me some crease to close the bodice later uh, if you got the same pattern as me from Rosie Cafe. If you got the same pattern as me, maybe you're not, but just in case. The instructions for the Rose Cafe, they will close here now the, um, the lining. But in our case, I don't want to do that because I want to, to the bodice and the line to sandwich they stair, they star, the, the stairs, no, not the stairs, they star uh, fabric. So I think in my opinion, it look uh, more professional. So, and I believe the original dress, they sandwich the main fabric also with the stars and the lining, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you want to be okay, after you have done the mark one centimeter there from the bust go ahead and give like small cuts just before the lining and then you have to fold inside like i did to the other side and pin it all the way around so you need to mark here in your cup eight millimeter okay all the way around okay i did eight millimeters i marked here from the down corner okay now you're gonna match the seam allowance here with the seam allowance from the bodice okay and you're gonna cover this mark okay then you're gonna pin it So I did with the contrast thread so you can see what is happening here. So inside you look like this. Okay. Outside you look like this. Okay, after you gave that a very good iron, 
Uh, I did already uh, went ahead and applied the boning. Um, I will try to find some links uh, on the YouTube so teach you how to apply the bony. I will try to explain you now a little bit. So here's the bony. Uh, it, co it comes like this. You need to iron the bony. Very careful to not burn it. And then I mark one centimeter and a half from the top and from the bottom. I measure it and then I cut the bony the side there I need to apply it. And I put tapes in the end because um, I don't like to burn with the lighter. I don't like the smell of it, but it's up to you. I also apply the bone in the middle. Um, it doesn't look like that beautiful, but since you, I'm gonna cover with the tool, so um, it's good enough for me. <laughs> and also it's a ton of ways to so the bony on the seams i try a couple of times i played a little bit with this uh, bony this time here because we're gonna cover anyway um, the other side so that's why i did it and from there i start from just from under the bust okay now we're gonna start to work uh, to cover the bodies with the tool with our stars tool so we're gonna measure a little bit how much tool you need so don't you don't need to work with that amount what you have left so just go ahead and cut off um, just have idea how much you need after you cut off how much you think you need for to cover the bodies you're gonna give um, straight stitch gathering straight stitch i did like twice like twice on the bottom twice on the top and now you're gonna go ahead and pin this gather um, tool on top of the bodies so i'm leaving actually the first gather stitch out from it so and then i just go ahead and pin it very nice after I have done to pin it, I will go and give like a straight stitch very close to the corner. Maybe I did like around three to four millimeters and also I did where it's going to be the zipper. And you can just go ahead and uh, cut off the left overs or excess of the tool fabrics there so and be careful to not uh, cut the fabric okay looks very pretty there already but now you're gonna make like uh, the pleats right i'm gonna use here like a very contrast thread and a needle so i'm using this very orange thread because it's gonna be easy to remove after but you can pin it if you would like, if you think it's easier for you. So take your time because you take time. <laughs> yep, that's me taking forever. So all the pleated are done. So you can pin if you think it's easier or you can use the contrast thread because it's easy to remove after i already did here and then i already sew all the way around here so now i'm gonna do here so it looks like this then you can cut the excess here Okay, now uh, we are going to work uh, with the stripes or if you have a satin ribbon also you can use it that is going to be attached to the bodice. So it's up to you. I'm going to use the same uh, tool from the stars. Um, nine centimeters for 72 centimeters. So I'm going to just like uh, put them wrong sides together and so a straight stitch and i will turn it with this instrument that i don't remember the name of it 
and then I will give you like a zigzag stitch and turn one more time so it's kind of a French seam I'm doing here but the second um, it's a zigzag stitch and they are going to look like this um, and I also advise you to iron them very nice because I think they're gonna look prettier and um, I advise you to pin it and uh, check your iron if it's not too hot and don't rub the iron <laughs> on the fabric because you remove the stars like I was doing wrong so in my case here my iron it's um, cold because I read iron all my stripes so just to show you that the stars was like under my iron and just like press very slow okay now uh, your stripes or ribbons are ready we're going to find out where are we going to place them so go ahead and pin the seam allowance in the back from both the sides and also pin just there the last seam allowance uh, at the cups so uh, you're gonna measure one centimeter from that pin there in the cup sorry my camera didn't go there i didn't notice neither but um, just find out how you want to place your stripes i'm trying to find a pretty way to fold my stripes and there you go i'm gonna place um if your cup it's aa or a it's one centimeter from that pin if it's a b it's two centimeters if it's D is three, four, and so on. So you're gonna take now your stripe and place just before the pin in the back there. And then you're gonna do it to the other side too and to the other cup. Okay, now we have the stripes pin on the bodies or maybe if up to you maybe you have the this kind of stripes instead and now you can just give like a couple of straight stitch secure stitch just so those stripes don't move or if you are brave you can just leave the pin and now you're gonna put the lining on top very nice matching the seam allowance and we're gonna sew all the way up. Now that you sew the lining together uh, up there with the front, you're gonna go ahead and give like a very close straight stitch okay our bodice it's um, basically uh, done so it looks like this now full line there so we gave the stitch on the lining so this stitch is not gonna make the line to show uh, when you're wearing uh, hopefully the the dress so uh, now uh, I advise you actually to try it on try if you can ask someone for help because uh, this bodice it's a very close fit so it, you're gonna have like the invisible zipper there so try on and see if it's in a fabric maybe it's too small maybe you need to do something there in the back in my case I have to remove uh, one centimeter and a half from each side because it was too big I don't know what happened <laughs> but uh, try it on also uh, another thing you can do here is there under the seam allowance under the bust you can sew on the channeling to put the under uh, wire or if you can uh, attach there the sponge for the um, for the cups okay now we have to prepare these skirts to attach the bodice 
Um, what um, I did, I did straight stitch, gathering stitch to that first skirt you cut. You cut it off in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna gather uh, this uh, star tool until it's the size of the bodice, the bottom of the bodice. You gonna do the same with that first attachment with the skirts with the two tools so you have to be very patient here because it's a lot of gathering it's a lot of fabric so what I did I just applied first the I pinned first the tool with the stars and then after I came with the around skirts and um, I think I mentioned that before in the beginning of the video is very important that all this gathering uh, from the tools starts uh, one centimeter from the uh, lining skirt because we're not gonna sew the zipper on the tool on the skirt so just take your time Okay, now um, I sew the, all the skirt sliders together in, on the bodice. Now it's just waiting for the zipper there. So we still have the stitch for the gather. We can remove afterwards. Okay, after um, we sew the skirt, now it's time for the zipper. Um, don't laugh so much at me because I know I use a very strange color, but it's because I have a lot of invisible zippers at home that I got from the thrifting store and I refuse to buy new ones, but uh, I'm happy that they came out very invisible. And, but don't do this at home. <laughs> Um, I advise you to sew by hand first the invisible zipper like I did here because and then we go to the machine the zipper is not going to move around as you see I just sew the zipper there on the lining okay and now uh, you can just go ahead and remove the stay stitch for the um, zipper if you do like that of course we're gonna also take the linen, the white fabric in my case, and turn there with the zipper inside. Uh, remember to fold in, at the bottom and we could just go now and give like a straight stitch. So we can already close this line there on top of the zipper. Don't need to sew very close from the teeth there this time. To make it prettier, you can also go ahead and set like bias tape around the zipper it will look very nice before you close down there so after um i gave you like a zigzag stitch there between the all that layers just to look a little bit more clean and nice also inside and now it's time to close the bodice there on the waistline what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull all the white fabric and fold under don't need to be exactly one centimeter much you can and pin it just like make sure it's not uh, so much fabric um, inside the bodice like that is very straight and nice so I even pin up there to make sure the fabric is not gonna show when I'm wearing it and then you can just pin um, and fold what you can fold inside there it will look very pretty and nice okay now what we're going to do we're gonna close by hand that um, lining to the bodice i like to do that by hand because i don't want to go to my sewing machine and show my stitch from the other side so there's my cat candy she's sleeping and i did use wax on my thread because i want to slide very nice through all those fabrics so what i did i was just going like back and forth just like simple stitch i i like it looks like very couture and um i think it's relaxing i like hand stitching very much actually i i used to hate it before 
Ah, but now I guess it's make a big difference on the garment, especially if you are making a dress that's going to be here forever. So I want to give this dress for my daughter when she gets older, maybe. And um, yeah, or if she don't want, if it's going to be possible to another girl to wear it and feel like a princess. So that's why I make everything to make this dress to look professional and nice and very durable. So I think it's important. I'm also going to give like some is very small stitches close to that line in there to the zipper. Why? Because I don't want uh, the zipper to catch any of those fabrics there when I'm close and open. And actually that happened um, with the tool. It even make like a hole there. I don't know if you can see, it make a hole on the tool here. I so I'm gonna give a very very tiny stitch there so make sure that you are using the same thread color for the tool so it's basically just gonna come through the fabric through the tool and come out just the next hole from the tool so it's gonna be less than probably one millimeter um, stitch so just like uh, he arranged the the pleats. I uh, you can you can even do like this small stitch all around the bodice if you do like that. I'm not gonna do. I'm just going to do um, close to the zipper because I don't want to have like problems there. Okay, I have a feeling that I manage to cover that hole and with a tiny tiny stitch that is gonna secure this fabric to not move when i'm closing the zipper so i think i manage so well uh i think we are done here so here is the zipper in the back beautiful look now it's secured the fabric there the zipper it's very invisible uh, i also saw in the back that skirt that was open just to remind you i forgot to mention there now just like right sides together one centimeter seam allowance and that's it look looks beautiful and nice and thank you again for watching.